Well, hello, good people and Eagle fans. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys. As well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Thirsty Thursday. We have some updates here on the Dallas Cowboys with the contract situations with Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb, as well as Mike McCarthy addressing Albert Higgins, um, Albert Huggins, excuse me, Albert Huggins, um, pushing of a Ram staffer yesterday and then proceeding to give, give him the finger. It was bad enough that he pushed him down. But then as he's running back to the huddle with his teammates, he, he gives the finger as he's going back. He made sure he made it double worse on himself. I thought that maybe that he could end up being a sacrificial lamb and basically the guy that they would say, okay, this kind of behavior is unacceptable. But Mike McCarthy has addressed it. And here's exactly what Mike McCarthy says. His behavior was unacceptable. It's been addressed, McCarthy said, per uh, Michael Montaigne of WFAA. He has apologized. I'm comfortable with his apology, and that behavior is not what we're about. He clearly understands that. My, McCarthy elaborates by saying that the emotional discipline in the moment is what the Cowboys believe in, that Huggins' action are not what we are about. So Huggins... Um, fifth year, I believe it's his fifth year. I'm sorry, fifth franchise in five years. And last year with the Atlanta Falcons, he played in 13 games, getting 22 sacks and two quarterback hits. Um, of course, he had yesterday, uh, he flew the bird and had a hit on a staffer. So the Cowboys evidently will not be cutting him. He is okay. Carl Davis was the one who was actually cut today um, in camp. As far as Stephen Jones, <laughs> you know, Stephen Jones, who yesterday said, you know, we told Mike McCarthy that with uh, C.D. Lamb getting the contract that he's going to get, that he's going to need to get 12 to 15 touches every game and uh, to make sure we get our money's worth out of that. And for those you don't know, that would equate to him having 197 receptions and 2,562 yards. This already with a guy who had 1,000 yards more than the next player on the team. Just saying, it seems like he did the lion's share of the work last year. Just saying. But here's what Stephen Jones has to say about the contracts. Well, they're ongoing. The contracts are ongoing. They're evolving. I know everybody likes them to be done immediately. As I said, it's a challenge for us in terms of working these three of the better football players in the league, trying to get them in a situation where they're happy and it works for us as well. We'll continue to work. Pencils are up. And we're working hard at it. Hopefully, We'll continue to make some progress and get one or two, one or two of these guys done. So let me add this to this as we sit here on August 15th. August 15th. Maybe you should have started a little sooner on these things. I'm just saying that maybe, just maybe, if it was difficult to work with, stop with the deadlines, make deals get done. Get these things done a while ago. Because what you have done with C.D. Lamb not being there is you've hurt your team. You have hurt your team. And I'm going to say for the Cowboys to be practicing against the Rams yesterday, to see stands that are empty, to have me personally talk to Cowboy fans out there that are literally pissed off by the lack of urgency by the Cowboys organization and the laissez-faire, shall we say, of the organization to try and do better. Now, I get it. We're still going to have a pretty good team. We're going to have a pretty good team. But sometimes you need to get something done just to get something done to appease the masses. Let them eat cake. 
You know, give them something to feel good about. Now, it was a good start yesterday getting a couple of players in here. But let's, let's not stop there. Let's get CD back in the fold here in practice. We, we're hearing that he's up to 214 pounds, that he's put on 10 pounds for the rigor of the season. Okay? Let's hope that this isn't that he put on 10 pounds because he's not working out with the team like Zeke when he was in Cabo. But he is supposedly plugged in with Dak in the receiving core. And what's going on in practice? You know, we sitting here talking about practice. Or actually, we're not talking about practice with C.D. Lamb because he's not here. Get these things done, Stephen. Stop dicking around, man. Get these things done. Do something right. Get it done. So, there you have it. We got an apology. And Albert Higgins is still on the team. And we got pencils up. I got your, look, look, you need a carpenter pencil? I'll give you a carpenter pencil. How about that one? Pencils are up, and we're working hard at it. I tell you what, Stephen, if you're working so hard at it, why do I keep seeing all these damn interviews talking about how hard you're working? How about you don't tell us how hard you're working, and you show us how hard you're working, and get this thing done? Jeez. Hopefully, we'll continue to make some progress and get one or two of these guys done. Seriously? Seriously? Listen to this stuff. Hey, guys. Nick Eatman here along with Steven Jones, Eatman. Cowboys Chief Operating Officer. And okay. You just so why they can't get enough of the Rams. Right? You got to like, practice last week. You had the, the game. Actually, we're not going to play. Back again, got music in the Tell background. us how that uh, situation unfolded. Well, first of all, I just think it, it's easy to work with the Rams. You know, we've been out. It's easy to work with the Rams. Okay. Well, I'm glad you found something easy. How about finding it easy to work with some contracts and getting some people signed? Okay. Jeez. All right, good people. Sometimes it just gets to be hard to be a Dallas Cowboy fan. Oh, and other news too. Wow. In cost cutting, ESPN has let go RG3. You know, when you think about the amount of talent that's been cut from NFL Network, ESPN, and these groups and things, man, it, it's... The amount of knowledge that they have lost with the players, uh, the former players and professionals that they have released and fired, because RG3 still had two years left on his contract, is immeasurable. Um, I guess this goes to show you, and, and undisputed, mind you, looks like it won't return in any form, that um, things are truly evolving and changing in sports media. Don't look at me. Don't blame me, bro. I'm Mark Holmes, and uh, I'll see you guys real soon. Just remember, Eagles fans. Shut the fuck up. Shut all the way the fuck up until you reach the top of Shut Fuck Mountain, where there are no more 